Hello everyone, my name is Grant Friedman and this is the introduction to Photoshop CS6 series on PSD Tuts. And today I'm going to introduce you to the new crop tool in Photoshop CS6. And the crop tool in Photoshop CS6 is a bit different than what you might which you might be used to in Photoshop CS5 for instance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the crop tool and the first thing that you might notice are these new cropping handles here. And so if I click on the cropping handles um, which you, the first thing you might notice is how um, it is auto centering the crop. So as I move the the, the corner handle, um, Photoshop is automatically centering the crop for me, and this is pretty handy. In addition, you can see that Photoshop is also telling me the exact dimensions of the crop as I'm dragging it out, and this is pretty handy as well. The next thing you might notice is this unconstrained option here at the top. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this drop down menu and you can see that there are several presets in here for me. The first one I'm going to look at is the original ratio. So if I click on the original ratio here, what Photoshop is going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to pull a crop out um, that's within the original ratio. So for instance, if your photo was a 4x6 to start off with and you started um, pulling this corner handle in, you notice I'm not clicking shift, I'm not doing anything like that. So it's automatically constraining this for me. And so it's going to keep that at those dimensions of 4 by 6. And you could also make the crop even larger um, if you needed to as well. Next, the next I'm going to show you here are some other presets that Photoshop CS6 has. And so um, what you can see right now is we have a 1 by 1 square, we have a 4 by 5, um, we have an 8.5 by 11, 4 by 3. We've got so, so we have several presets here that um, can come in handy. And you can also create your own presets as well. In addition to, we have this rotate crop box option, um, which you can access by either clicking this or you can click on the X on, the, on your keyboard. So if I was to click on the rotate crop box, it, what it will do is it'll just change, um, it'll just change this to landscape, um, which is extremely helpful. So if I'm clicking X here, you can see the difference. In addition, um, the crop tool in Photoshop CS6 also includes this straighten button. Um, and the straighten um, option here, you, you might recognize in, in Photoshop CS5, you could do this using the ruler tool, but now this has been incorporated um, into um, the crop tool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on the straighten tool. I'm just going to draw a quick line. And as you can see, Photoshop has automatically um, straightened the photo based upon the line that I drew, and it's also cropped out these, the, the excess on the edges. In addition, you also have some views here that you can... Um, that you can select. And so you can have rule of thirds, you can have grid, you can have diagonal. And you, so you have several options here that you can um, choose to help you create the best crop. In addition, there is a new option here. It's called the delete cropped pixels. And so what this means is that um, if you were to click on this option and create this crop, um, it will actually delete the pixels. And that's um, yeah, similar to what Photoshop CS5 does. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna click on that, as you can see, oh, oh, so let's go in here. Let's just double click this really quick. All right. So now you can see if I do that, the pixels are gone. So if I, but if I was to do that without the um, that crop option enabled here, and just do that, uncheck this real quick. As you can see. I still have the, the uh, excess on the edges, which is very helpful. Another thing to keep in mind is that Photoshop CS6 also gives you some other options here. So you can go ahead and you can click on the um, settings icon here, and you can uh, go to classic mode. You can uh, disable the auto centering preview. You can disable the show cropped area um, option here. You can disable the crop shield um, so there's lots of things that you can do um, with Photoshop CS6's cropping tool, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm looking forward to presenting you with some other features of Photoshop CS6. Thanks so much.